diagram of an FM transmitter. Here we use a single transistor which is BC547. Actually the resonance circuit is L and C. The value of the inductance is 0.1 micro Henry fixed value. Whereas this is a trimmer capacitor, it varies from 0 to 100 picofarad to tune into uh, frequencies ranging from 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz. Here we have a feedback capacitor coupling from collector to emitter, which is also a variable trimmer capacitor ranging from 22 picofarad to 100 picofarad. Once you try to tune in and once you have all the frequencies you are able to transmit then you can lock with that frequency. So you can assume this to be a fixed capacitor after tuning in properly. Here we have the condenser microfarad in parallel with 0 0.001 microfarad. So this condenser microphone when the sound wave alters the frequency because one of the plates is fixed, another plate is movable. Therefore, capacitance changes. Therefore, the total capacitance changes and uh, it will affect the resonant frequency of this circuit. As said, this is a frequency modulator. That means it uh, gives out FM modulated waveform from the antenna, it radiates. So this frequency is altered by this condenser microphone in parallel with this capacitance. So when the sound wave passes through the condenser microphone, the capacitance varies, therefore the resonant frequency of the circuit varies. So this will produce a FM modulated waveform at the output antenna. So this is a short range, uh, we can use the circuit for a short range of less than 50 meters. Uh, if you, uh, how it is modulating this resonance circuit because if you draw the AC equivalent circuit, this will, this will become grounded. If you do the AC analysis, this will be draw, grounded. And what happens is between collector and emitter, you have this capacitance. And between collector and ground, that is between this point and ground, you have the tuned circuit. So VBE <coughs> base to emitter is negligible because this is plus minus, you will be having uh, 0.6 volts. Other than that, this circuit comes, if you forget about this voltage drop, this capacitance comes in parallel with this value and these two, since this is grounded, you can imagine that between collector and uh, emitter, you are having this circuit. So, the resonant frequency of this circuit gets modified based on the sound wave. That's why it's called a frequency modulated transmitter. This 4.7K and 330 ohms, this 330 ohms is emitter for emitter stabilization to make the Q point stable. We are using this 330 ohm and this axis fixed by us by using this base resistor 4.7K. The entire circuit operates with 9 volts DC and you connect a short antenna roughly uh, 50 centimeter length antenna and you can design this inductor with the air core coil design method. Thanks for watching this video. Nandri.